You had a visit. Yes. I think we're all um, we're all excited to see how he's doing. Have you seen The Exorcist? <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Is this dangerous? Not clinically. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Bob. Are you alive? I want a cigarette, man. I want to get out of here, man. Listen, buddy, we got good news. Now, they say today's going to be your last day. Today? Today. <laughs> Thank God! These doctors can kiss my ass! Oh, knock it off, tough guy, or I'll give you another shot. Woman fucking hates me, man. <sighs> you look good like that. What's with the tape? Hey, don't tell me you're going to pose on me, you big loser. No, dude, I'm going crazy, man. <sighs> How long have I been in here? Three weeks. Oh, my God! Anyone come visit you? No, no, just you. Just you guys. You did. I've been quarantined, man. They named a disease after me. You are a disease. Uh, what about your father, Bob? What about my father? I just thought, didn't he didn't... Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't, he didn't come. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's drunk, you know? But I'm free, huh? I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love the guy. Now the fall of hate could really get started. The first order of business, we threw a party at our apartment. This is like the first party of the fall, right? The whole tribe's here, everyone's in the house. Let me make the introductions. You remember Bob, of course. He's also- Hey, stop fucking with that stereo! He's also one of the hosts. It's his fucking stereo. And this, oh my God, this is Trish. She's like a bohemian queen. She's the goddess of the scene. Everybody really wants her. Hey, come on, let's keep going. Now stay close, cause like, I don't really know everyone here. There's a lot of posers. Uh, this kid though, this kid, he's not a fucking poser. He's not a poser. He looks like a total nerd, right? This guy looks like a geek, but his name's Mike. He's one of the most hardcore guys in the scene. Well, watch what happens. Stay where you are, I'll be right back. This is great, it's my favorite part. Good guy. You see what I mean? Fuck rock! It's fuck rock! The party's in full swing. Let's continue. Hey. Hey, Mark, how's it rolling? Rolling fine. Here. It's on me. Me? But be careful. That stuff can make you stupid. Fuck you! Uh, more stupid than you already are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Mark. Now, Mark is not a punk rocker. Uh, well, he's nothing, really. I mean, he's not even a peer. But everybody knew him, and all the tribes loved him, because he always had pot and acid. Now, what this crazy Florida fuck was doing behind the Zion Curtain, I had no idea. In fact, I don't think anyone in Utah really knew. But we did know that he was rich, loaded with killer bud, oh, and completely out of his fucking mind. Now, Mark was rich, but not because he was a pusher, which, you know, he really wasn't. He was independently wealthy. His whole family died in a plane crash over in Europe when he was five. Thing was, he liked to buy stuff and show it off. His bank account bulged from the insurance off the crash. So you'd have to sit through some bullshit if you wanted to score. Because the one thing about Mark, he loved company. This looks like a silver record. But it's not a silver record, it's a laser disc. This one is a water bath. But it's not a normal water bed, because a normal water bed goes like this. Lots of waves. Funny thing is, this one doesn't have any waves. Well, why didn't you just buy a normal mattress that doesn't have waves? This one doesn't have waves. See, it also comes in silver, but I mean, I bought it in black because it looks much cooler. Yeah, but this is the masterpiece. It has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven settings for optimum comfort, all of which I would gladly show you now. <laughs> it has this projector in the back, 5,000 bucks. I mean, you can buy a fucking car for that. This thing here has a little platinum thing. There's a movie on there. <laughs> and so it never, never, ever gets, like, dirty. I don't buy any records. I only buy CDs because they sound much better anyway, so... That, 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 that's great. Hey, there's more. A lot more? Much more. Hey, wake up. It's a character flaw, sure, but you we all had that. those. No. This part no, didn't no. concern me. The main problem with Mark was yeah. that he was intimidating and he had a tendency to snap. 
who's always afraid of getting ripped off. Yet at the same time, you'd rip things off without shame or guilt. Chaos and man, although hopeful, could also be, you know, a little tiresome. I had two bags of grass in this kitchen. They're always trying to stiff me, you know? Who is? Who? Who? Everybody! You know, I give to everybody, Steve. -Roy. You know that. And they, they just go ahead and try to take whatever they want. Make me want to kill. What you've done in the past, believe me. I'm not saying it makes me a man or anything. I'm just passing on the information. When did you kill? In Miami, I shot two men. Why do you think I'm here? Because I love this place? Salt Lake, shitty. They tried to rob me, so <laughs> I shot them in the head. You have to put at least one bullet in the head just to make sure. Get out of here. Come on, you didn't kill anybody. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't believe me, huh? No. Well, <laughs> with this, you want to be a cowboy? I show you cowboy. Come on, just put the thing away, all right? I fucking hate those things. Put it away. <laughs> I get the joke, now put it away. When I was a kid, my family died in a crash. I know. You know. My mother told us to buckle up because things were going to get bumpy, so I did. I looked at her and she smiled. And then like this, boom, the plane was going down. My dad was next to the pilot and he told us not to worry. But hey, even at five I knew we had trouble because the pilot was crying. So I looked at my sister, she was like, oh man, we're getting close. So I looked at my, my mom again and, and she, she smiled at me again. And so this time I smiled and then we hit the ground and something came through that plane and cut my mother's head off. So now, this head was flying straight at me and she never took her eyes off of me. That's when I passed out. And, and when I woke up, my family was all around me in pieces. I saw my mother's arm, my sister's leg, my